at, at a quarter past five every day, I'm going to bring seven or eight stories that are you would count as, as good news, positive stories from around the UK that actually tell a good story. And, and, and it could be a, a selfless act of charity uh, from, from a neighbour around the corner. We want to hear these stories, the uplifting stories, stories of optimism, as well as bigger issues, the, the technological innovations and advances that are made in this country very regularly that we don't hear about. So, so good stories. Uh, things that will just maybe put a smile on your face. That there may even be the odd dog surfing dog. I, I, I don't know. <laughs> I very much doubt it. But we can wait and see. Uh, Alex, is this going to catch on? Do you think? Is there a market for good news? Definitely. And you know, you've got to tune into it because he cheers me up every day. He has been during the rehearsals, and I've decided I never read them in advance. It'd be very easy for me to go in the run order and see what he's going to talk about. But I love being hit with them, so I can like appreciate them and get that first reaction. It's, it's really worth watching. What kind of stories? are you going to bring to the programme? What's uh, of real interest to you, which you think uh, either is not being covered at all or needs to be covered in a different way? Well, I'm really interested in some of the social issues. The way I see things is society has moved on so much in the last decade and a lot of people just don't feel connected to things that are being spoken about in the media. You know, they kind of almost feel under attack. And whereas Simon's got his happy news stories, I actually get a little section which is a bit of a rant. So he's like the antidote it's to me. It's a bit of a rant. It's a, it's a big, <laughs> big rant. <laughs> but no, it's great. I mean, you know, so many other presenters, not so many others, but we know a few, don't we, who have uh, perhaps been excused from their positions for having opinions, whereas... I'm allowed to have them, which is utterly fantastic.